Bang. Oh, how's everybody doing? Yeah. I am not quite looking at the camera. Let's see if we can fix that. Let's see. Kisa Stoma, hello. I like the new color for your boy and the new name. Mowgli, hello. Let me, I gotta... Kind of looks like I'm looking at y'all, I guess. Yeah, so the way that I have it set up, I've got camera one, camera two. And camera one uh, roughly matches up with me looking at the camera when I'm looking at my monitor on the left. And then this one, I look at my monitor to the right, and then it helps me do acting for when I'm close up. But this isn't quite... It's bugging me. Hang on. There we go. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah. Yep. Let me welcome folks in. Hello to Kisa Satoma. Hello, Mowgli. Uh, hello, Mercedes Veb. Hello. Let's see. Am I missing anybody? Nope. Oh, and my dryer is done. I didn't think it was going to be done this early. I will be RB. I got to shut it off. Otherwise, it'll start a fire. Bye. Okay, we are back. So, thank you for watering Mandy. See what she ends up growing tonight. Oop, Critter's getting close to being able to evolve into a kitty slime. And I notice uh, Mowgli's little one, Sweet Pea, has been eating a lot of sturdy fruit. I'm excited to see uh, us finally reach the fully evolved form. I just realized <laughs> there's a little king slime up on the shelf there. And it looks like it has fangs. I didn't mean for it to have fangs quite yet. I think I just randomly assigned fangs to everybody. Let me let me get out my stream notes. Just making sure. Very disorganized. Hang on. Oh, I'll just make a new one. There we go. Okay, so. King shelf slime has fangs. Okay, there we go. We will collate that later. 
Sorry, a little, a little disorganized to begin with. Uh, welcome to everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to be doing some art tonight. Uh, we're going to be 3D modeling a little television set uh, game console combo thing. That's going to be kind of the framing device for the Slime Quest mini game that I'm cooking up. So <laughs> the King Slime is feeling festive. Yeah, it is the season for 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 teefies. <laughs> Thank you for watering Mandy again. Yeah. Um, I wanted to show off something that I made earlier. First off, I did a little little glamour shot of uh, the avatar holding the Starlight Greatsword and the uh, the uh, the and the space base. Yeah, I figured out how to use Control Rig, which is something that lets me pose models in Unreal Engine uh, a lot more easily. Because usually, uh, what you got to do is you have to create an animation for a character in a 3D modeling program, in my case, Blender, and then you have to, um, you have to import that into Unreal Engine and then apply that animation to the character with an animation blueprint. It's a big pain in the dick, but I learned how to use Control Rig, and Control Rig makes it so that I can just pose it directly in Unreal Engine. That's gonna result in me being able to do cool glamour shots like this every once in a while, because I wanna do those. Anyway. Thank you, Mowgli. And thank you, Kisistoma and Mercedes. But... So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to start the evening off before we get to the art with a little slime race. So let's go ahead and get that started. And I'll turn off the tunes. All right, if you would like to participate in this first slime race of the evening, go ahead and type exclamation point play into that there chat box to show up on that there racetrack. Slime races are how your little ones can learn how to do fabulous things like play songs and draw doodles on the floor and uh, cast little magic spells. We love cats and spells. Alright, we got Sweet Pea on the field, Mowgli's little one little skull witch. We got Halo on the field. Little kitty slime. We got Critter on the field. A little base slime with a crayon, a cool top hat, and teefies. Alright, uh, I think we got everybody that's in chat on the field. I'll give another 10 seconds at least in case we got some lurkers. Um, just so everybody knows, even if your slime hasn't been summoned into the baby jail yet, or uh, you haven't chatted before and you don't have a slime, it will create a slime for you if you type exclamation point play, and then that will be your forever boy, so yeah. Uh, the chads are back on the field? Absolutely. And I think that has been at least 10 seconds, so we're gonna go ahead and start out. All right, we are off. We are supersonic racing our way through Slime Island in this first race of the evening. We've got Sweet Pea, we've got Halo, we've got Critter. Three Chads to, you know, use the vernacular of the youth. You know, that's how the hello fellow teens. All right, we are going over the summit of Bunny Hill. Critter had an early lead, but has been a little bit sleepy. Everybody's being a little bit sleepy. Critter has taken back first place. But things are still pretty tight. Anything can happen on Slime Race Island. Well, anything within reason. They're, they're, all the slimes are on a track. And yeah, they actually have a pretty restrictive set of rules that they have to adhere to right now. I don't know why I said anything can happen, but anything can happen within a very narrow <laughs> range of possibilities. All right, we are on our way to Waterfall Bridge, the very treacherous low-poly suspension bridge. Now, those edges are marked as sharp, so everyone be careful. You don't want any punctures. You don't want any cytoplasm spilling all over the place. And Critter has a narrow lead, but is sort of trading places with Halo as we move on to the final third of Slime Race Island. The treacherous, the nail biting, the pants wetting, <laughs> the pants shitting, the terrifying Geyser Valley. Uh, it looks like Critter has gotten past 
their geyser, taking a little break. Understandable. You know, these races take a lot out of you. Alright, Halo's gonna have to get past her geyser. Oh no, getting pushed back. It looks like Critter might be our winner, but Sweepy's not too far behind. Will R and Jesus burst out of his hell hole in the ground and grab Critter and drag the... Okay, no, that didn't happen. It's good that that didn't happen because I didn't feel like finishing that joke. It sort of got away from me. Very <laughs> Sweepy getting second place. Everybody will be getting a prize since there are only three boys on the field, but Critter will get an extra special prize for being in first. But everybody's gonna go home happy as Halo finishes up. Oh, this is Critter's first gold feather? Well, congratulations. Let's go to Slime Race Results Island and give Critter his little gold feather and see what else what else y'all get. All right, congratulations to Jesus Thomas little one Critter for winning their first race and getting a gold feather in their cap. Halo will win. A little Zelda song on the piano. Sweepy will get another Zelda song on the Fisher Price piano. Very nice. The beginning and ending songs. And Critter learned how to draw a little sunfish. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. There we go, turn the funk down just a skosh. Okay, so we are going to be 3D modeling tonight. We're gonna be doing something like this. <laughs> there you go, you drew your little Kirby fish. So yeah, we're gonna be drawing something along the lines of this, like one of these old ass, like, DVD combo TVs. Um, so th these, this is going to be how we like transition to the slime quest uh, mini game. This is it's going to be in the corner where that purple pipe is, I think, in the baby jail there. And then when we go to the slime race mini game, or not the slime, the slime quest mini game, the camera will pan over to it. Oh no, I've been low polyed. Ah, beans, I've been low polyed. Oh, nine feisty fruit, you're almost there. Hold on, I got to my low poly bit. Ah, oh, dang, ah, oh, beans, uh, I've been low polyed. Where are all my, my lumens and my nanites and my virtual textures and my, uh, uh, I still haven't fixed the, still haven't fixed texture on this one. I gotta fix the texture on this one, Fruitsy, remember to do that. Um, yeah, anyway. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to model something along the lines of this, but I also want to put in some, like, iMac uh, G3, like, DNA in there, like, back when we were obsessed with this weird semi-transparent color um, plastic on everything. And then we might take some colors from these. Um, so this was... The original idea was I was going to make one of these. Um, for, all, for all of you that don't know, the PlayStation was originally going to be an add-on for the Super Nintendo that Sony was developing. It would be like a CD drive. Um, but then Nintendo decided to go with Philips at the last minute, and then that pissed Sony off. And then Sony was all like, I, I'm going to go make my own video game console with Blackjack. And they did. But luckily, Nintendo uh, had no competition um, or because of that. Yeah, they continued to dominate the video game uh, landscape uh, forever after. Anyway, so we're going to start. I'm going to start modeling it kind of after this, and then we'll kind of uh, go from there. So I'm going to put my pure ref over here. On my second monitor. Okay, we need to figure out how big we want this to be. So we need a size reference here. Okay, so here's the warp pipe model. That is currently what is 
in the baby jail. So we will add a cube. Oh, Bagman Boogie. <laughs> Bagman take on some funky town. <laughs> Thank you, Mowgli, for the shitty mini break. Now, let's see how big we want to make this. I probably should have decided that before I went into Blender. So we probably want it to be hmm, a little bit taller than the pipe, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, the, 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 what am I doing here? Oh, yeah, so, uh, for the, uh, Bagman Boogie, I basically went on an old-ass, like, MIDI website and found a bunch of, like, funk and disco songs, um, with, like, really terrible MIDI, um, covers, and, uh, that one was Funky Town, um, oh my god, my cat won't shut up, um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, uh, that one's Funky Town, um, but there's like 14 of them, and it randomly picks from them now, so, yeah. Yeah, the original was September. Who was, who was Funky Town by? Um, let me think. Lips Incorporated. Never heard of them. They're a one-hit wonder. Oh my god, Django is just being a pain in the dingus right now. Oh, thank goodness, I got all my lumens back. Hi. <laughs> Low poly again. Oh, no. Let's make another cube. So there should be one meter. We raise it one meter in the air. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Cool. Boom! Hello! How's it going? I think the next time you type it will go to the friend shelf. Um, yeah, I guess the friend shelf doesn't check redeems, it just checks, um, for regular ass messages. How are you doing tonight, Boom? I'll tell everybody who Boom is after the friend shelf shows off their avatar. If you only type in there, yeah, I don't think it's gonna do the friend shelf, Boom. That's okay. Oh, we're in a little Mexican standoff here now. What is the 3D? Uh, the tracking doesn't look great on the um on the low poly model because it's it it's not doing anything to it, so not so great. Yeah, I gotta set up hand tracking for, um, the hand tracking system is super complicated, and the low poly model uses a completely different skeletal mesh than um the main avatar does. So, yeah, to be determined whether I'm gonna do that or not.
Okay, fine, I'll go to the friend shelf. <laughs> okay, so boom is another... Pedicula, hello! <laughs> I was just introducing Boom. Yeah, Boom is the, the little black kitty cat on the far right there, with the long-ass username. Oh, d don't worry about it all, Benicula. It's it's anything that goes wrong with the stream is... I knew Boom was going to wait for me to do this so that it wouldn't do the whole camera pan thing. Boom loves to wreck shit. Anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> so, yeah. Boom is the kitty cat on the right there, the hiss cat. Uh, Boom is another... Unreal Engine based VTuber and another 3D modeler that uses Blender um, is uh, always has really chaotic, fun streams. I'm gonna shout Boom out. Oh my god, I always have to copy and paste Boom's username. Oh my god. Oh my god, it won't let me select the text. Hang on a minute. Boom, why do you always have to make everything so difficult? <laughs> okay, shout out, and then paste. There you go, there's your shout out. <laughs> A boom macro, yeah. I'm not gonna skip shouting you out, because you're on the French shelf, dang it. So we're 3D modeling um, a TV set tonight that's going to be in the environment. And oh, the Big Lee, hello. How's it going? I wish there was an easy way for me to have Pure Ref be on top of everything. So right now we're just sort of fleshing out the rough shape of this boy. Ah, oh, no, I've been Ronnie'd. <laughs> Ahoy, ye tarnished. <laughs> it's like my soul is trapped inside of this low poly prison and is just trying to. trying to ghost its way back out. Thank you for the head pads. Ah, I've been T-posed. Oh, good. I'm no one. Oh, and I got the Ronnie hat. I found out what the problem with my hat was the last stream. <laughs> Thank you for the shitty midi break. Oh, uh, Mowgli, I know you, you like to, um, know what songs are playing, uh, so that song that was playing was Pick Up the Pieces by Average White Band. Look at me, I'm Pumpkin Potion. Waka waka. I, I don't want to think of a Pumpkin Potions bit, because I'm distracted enough as it is. Please forgive me. Potion's got so many emotes. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the Big Lee, you keep feeding your boy evolution fruit, you're already fully evolved.
Yeah, we only have two stages of evolution at the moment. If you want to try a different one, um, we can do. You can use the reset fruit, and that will send you back a stage. I mean, if you if you just like if you just like feeding your boy, that's fine. The fruit are expensive though. Let's see. Let's see if we can have this on one half of the screen. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now I can look at the reference at the same time. Okay, so that'll be like the DVD drive. We're gonna have like the Dreamcast like controller port area kind of built into this too. Okay, so we need a Dreamcast reference. Where did I put my Dreamcast pictures? There we go, there's a Dreamcast. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and then the TV will also have, like, a smaller, like, extruded bit on the bottom that'll go past this, so. Okay, so there's our TV. We just want to make some pleasing to the eye shapes here. Let me see, I drew some by my iPad too. Let me see if I'm missing any details that I wanted to include. Oh, this also shouldn't be a cube. It should be like a three by four. Um, let's see. Yeah. So X should be a should be wider. So I believe the X direction is. Um, four, yeah, and we'll do three. That doesn't sound, that doesn't seem right. Cube. Okay, so that's one meter. Yeah. 
There we go. So that's three by four. Yeah, and I think the mini game is going to be d displayed in like a three by four, like aspect ratio. Oh, I got a thank you for following alert for some reason. Weird. Oh, Adji Manji, thank you so much for following. I don't know why the alert didn't show up, but yeah, welcome to the coven. Or Aji Ma Manji. Aggie Manji? I don't know. However you say it. Welcome. That was supposed to be a wave. Hi. Okay, yeah, I think those proportions are good. Oh, that'll be for the controller ports. Okay, cool. Got some sly in the family stone on the radio. Oh, Boom is eating another another big fruit. Three more big fruit and you'll have a you'll have a long slime on your hands. Yeah, when we do the slime uh, quest mini game, we're going to like sweep over to the TV and we're going to zoom in. And the mini game will be displaying on the screen here in universe and it should be pretty cool. We'll set up like a little portal here so that we can view the slime quest like part of the level through here. I'll need to figure out how to do that. I know you can. Move those out of the way for now. Mmm. 
You kids dry on my floors again. Which one of you crazy kids drew on my floors? Oh, somebody drew a little pumpkin over there. Yeah, over by the warp pipe. Okay, I believe this was going to be our CD drive. CD's nuts, haha. Uh -huh. This is kind of a weird shape. The, uh, the drive door is sort of pushed into the thing a little bit. Something like that. Okay, and then we have the Dreamcast. So we'll extrude that a little bit. You kids and your crazy music. Inset that a little bit. Push that down. There we go. That's a pretty good shape. And I kind of want to curve it in the back. We have these old ass iMac G3s. I kind of want to do the same business that this has on the sides. Okay, we don't really need the pipe to be visible anymore. Get rid of that. Don't really need these references anymore. All right, gonna skip the rest of the song. There we go. That song has for some T for teen noises in it near the end of it. It's also just way too long for its own good. Oh, some castle lightning spell. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you're all having a nice, relaxing Saturday. Or a nice, exciting Saturday, if you if that's what you're in for. I hope you're having the Saturday of your of your choosing. However you're imagining an ideal sa a Saturday, I want it to be like that.
Thank you for a little Chrono Trigger song. Old Kingdom of Zeal. Hmm. I'm really digging that. And of course, I can't undo that far back. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm, wondering what the best way to do this is. Ah. Ah. Oh, overpowered Yeti. How's it going? Doing some 3D modeling tonight. Not very much of it with my pace. How's it going over there, Whisper? You know, Whispers are our local uh, haunter. Hey, Whisper. I don't know if you can see or hear me, Whisper. I don't know if you have uh, senses anymore, but... Let's see if I can... Eh. Eh. I can't really reach over that far. Anyway. Blah. <laughs> I wonder if I should just, like, delete this. And then rebuild it the way that I want. Oh! Noodle Cat! Welcome, readers. Welcome, readers, to the stream. We're all so happy that you're being here. I'm gonna turn off the funk music in the background because we got music that we used for the raid! <laughs> Hello, raiders. I'm gonna turn the funk music back on. I wish there was a way to automate that, but it's not an Unreal Engine. How you doing, Noodle? Noodle Cat was having a little uh, celebration for having a 200 followers. That was really cool. I was playing a little Jackbox with uh, with her earlier. Yeah, Noodle Cat is definitely a friend of the show. And I'm gonna wait. There we go. See, Noodle Cat. See, boom. Noodle Cat does the friend shelf trigger thing that I worked really hard on correctly, so that that way. <laughs> we go to the shelf and the thing works. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shout you out. 
Noodle Cat does things. Let's let's do a little uh let's look for a little eyeball spin. Uh let's see, Noodle Cat does things. Uh let's see TikTok. Yeah. I just feel like I don't know anything. Eyeball spin. There we go. Well eyeball spin. <laughs> One more for the road. Like I don't know anything. Eyeball spin. <laughs> I just I, I love eyeball spin. How'd the rest of your stream go, Noodle Cat? I think you were playing some uh, Quiplash when I when I ducked out. Meow. Hello, Johnny. How's it going? Welcome back. My hand waving needs to. There you go. Hi. Meow. So for anybody that's new to chat. The first time you type, you get a little virtual pet, one of these little slime guys. And I think a lot of people here already know what these boys are, so if you want to know a little uh, more about them, you can check the About section or the Redeems. There's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with them. I'm going to pat pat my little boy Goop. Oh, I got a little T for teen. Oh, you know how I feel about that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save what I've been working on here. I would like to take a little bit of a break and have a little slime race since we got some folks in here that Noodle Cat has kindly raided us with. Uh, oh, wait, we got a baby. Lives. Let's check out the baby first. Looks like Boom and Mercedes Vib had a kid named Boom the Zvib. There he goes, that little, that shy little teal one just kind of wedged underneath. It looks like he hasn't been fully birthed yet. <laughs> it's still kind of just peeking out of there. Let's see if we can... There we go. Oh, he popped out. Let's see if I can... we can get a better look at the little fella. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's got little fangs, too. I need to disable that. Well, ah, hell, what? Who can... Well, yeah, no, we are going to have to disable that because it's not always going to be spooky month. Okay, disable... Uh, fangs on kid slimes. We don't want all kid slimes to have fangs forever. I'm gonna need to fix that. But yeah, we're gonna go over to Slime Race Island. Have ourselves a slime race. So. If you would like to compete in this little mini game, don't go ahead and type exclamation point play in the chat. And if you don't have a slime yet, it will create one for you, and that'll be your forever boy, and you can still participate. This is a little mini game that we do here. Winners of these races will win little prizes. They'll win special abilities that they'll be able to do, like sing songs and draw stuff on the floor and cast little magic spells. Colonel Kate, hello! How's it going? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about there, Mercedes, but, but thank you for watering Mandy. <laughs> Things are going pretty well. Alright, we got Halo on the field. Their little princess crown and their shield. We got Uwu on the field, also sporting a shield. Wearing the less regal, but still very adorable, sleepy cap. Do we have any more challengers? Oh! Overpowered Yeti said, I really like the mini game and your avatar system. Thank you so much, Overpowered Yeti. That, that, that means a lot. I've worked very, very hard on these things. And, I, yeah, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and do a 10 count to give other people a chance to join if they would like to. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, last calls, 2, 1. All right, we are going to start though.
Okay. We got Overpowered Yeti. We've got Uwu. We've got... Uh, we got Colonel Cade. We've got Halo on the field. In the second slime race of the evening. We're going over the summit of Bunny Hill. First little section of Slime Race Island. These little ones are going to tumble their way down. In a show of athleticism. And character development and rivalry and there's probably going to be some thematic stuff in there that's represented by their competition you know all the all the characters that are competing against each other in this little tournament probably have some tragic backstories you know some daddy issues that they're all gonna work out and they all have like com competing outlooks on the world and you know, maybe their the their competing outlooks will be represented by their fighting styles, and you know, whoever wins the fight will be the one that you know has the better ideology. Like one of them believes in friendship, and then the other one's like, "No, I believe in just strength and being a strong boy." And friends are stupid and gay. And you're stupid and gay. And the other one's like, "No, friendship beam." And then he shoots a friendship beam. And th that blows away the bad man, and then, therefore, um, their outlook on the world was correct. That's kind of what we take away from the, the, the fight scene. I know a lot about writing, you guys. <laughs> Alright, we are in... <laughs> we're in the final stretch of Slime Race Island. We are in the Geyser Valley, now that my lecture on shonen fighting tournament writing is, is complete. Looks like Halo is ahead by a narrow lead. They just narrowly avoided their geyser. Followed not too far behind by Colonel Cade. Followed by Uwu. Followed by Overpowered Yeti's little one that got a little stun locked by the by the geyser. Oh, Uwu getting pushed back a little bit. It looks like Halo is gonna be our first place winner. Congratulations to Mercedes Vev and your your little one. Colonel Cade taking a little bit of a nap, giving Uwu a chance to catch up. Overpowered Yeti's little one finally getting past the, the geyser. The geyser is pretty strong. I think I am going to nerf it a little bit. I would like there to be a little bit more of a delay between water blasts. But yeah, that's something I'm going to address later. That was a close one. Very solid performance out of all of you, including Overpowered Yeti. These races are not easy. They, they take quite a toll on these little ones. Alright, no slime left behind. Alright, very good job, Overpowered Yeti. You, you will win a race. I, 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 I know it. I, I believe in you. For now, let's go to the Race Results Island and see what everybody else won. Alright, congratulations to Halo for winning their first race of the evening. They'll win a little gold feather and their little princess cap. Who will win a song? A little Kirby song on the flute. Oh, Colonel Cade wins a nice little game over song from Super Mario World. And Halo will win a special prize. Oh, speaking of Super Mario World, drawing a little bonsai bill. Or whatever they renamed it to for the Mario movie. For some reason, they're not called bonsai bills in there. But yeah, you're going to be able to doodle that on the floor now. Very nice. Alright, turn the funk music back on. Yeah, the races do win you things. There's, um, let's see. There are three things that you can, let me use my hands because I have a hand tracker. I'm going to use it. Anyway, so there's uh, three things that you can win, huh? I got three fingers. You can, w one thing you can win. <laughs> you can learn how to play songs. That's what second and, that's what second and third <laughs> place get when they win. Um, 
they will get songs. And first place, not second, it got not third, but first place will win a very special prize, which is either a um a magic spell or a drawing that you can do on the floor. Because those are a little there are less of those and they're a little more special. So I kind of balance it out by making only first place winners able to get those. So yeah. Oh, Overpowered Deity says, uh, I want all this for my setup. Uh, yeah, thank you for the compliment. Um, do you use Unreal Engine? I'm sorry if, I, I, if I've if i seen your work before and maybe I'm just forgetting your username from like another, from like a Discord server or something. Um, uh, Noodlecat says, gotta post my uh, post stream things. I'll be lurking. Well, that, no problem. We appreciate it. Congratulations on 2 Hundo. Um, well, I got to wave you a little bit before Boom t posed me, but yeah, have a good night, Noodle Cat. Uh, hope to catch you later. Uh, Overpowered Yeti says new, uh, to Unreal Engine. Yep, yeah, she did, she did indeed get me with the T, the, the T for Teen pose. Um, but yeah, if you, uh, if you ever want to do something, uh, in Unreal Engine and want some, like, uh, like feedback or like some advice on maybe how to do stuff. I'm still fairly new to Unreal Engine myself. Um, a lot of this stream is me cobbling together uh, YouTube tutorials and getting other people that are better at Unreal Engine um, to like coach me. Um, so, but yeah, I'd be happy to ever answer questions that you got. So, if I'm capable of doing so. Okay, I gave you a follow over Powered Yeti. Oh yeah, I see you were working on some uh, game development stuff. Very cool. Yeah, I'll I'll check out your streams later. What kind of stuff are you um what are you thinking of uh, adding to your stream? Yeah, no problem at all. Maybe that's not the best way to do this. Sorry, I'm being very indecisive about how to do the curve on this. Oh, you want to make an interactive fighting game? That's really cool. It's a little tricky to do, um, like... Um, games that depend a lot on, uh, uh, like, timing with the streamer delay. Let's see, we'll do some proportional editing here. Yeah, fighting games are fast-paced. Do you have, like, an idea of how you'd like it to, like, kind of function? Oh, ad break. <laughs> like, if you had a magic wand that could make every the anything possible, regardless of, like, programming or experience or what have you, how would you ideally want it to be? Oh, ad break is over. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you didn't really miss anything. I was just asking the, how you'd like your game to function. Uh, you saw a thing in the marketplace, so it was a quiz fighting game. Very cool. Is it like turn-based or something? 
Man, I'm struggling with making this curved. Okay, let's just, just delete these faces. And we'll just bridge these two. Okay. Let's see, uh, Overpowered Daddy says, not sure on the setup for it. It seemed weird, but my goal is to have chat either give me the, um, give me or the opponent's, uh, buffs, a uh, health boost, slow down time act. Oh, okay, cool, so you would be the one playing the fighting game and then chat would, like, be able to influence it? I was thinking maybe you're trying to do, like, um, chat, like, fighting against each other or something. Because that would be a lot more, like, timing... Uh, heavy. Okay, yeah, that makes some sense. Oh, wait, I have proportional editing on. That always makes me end up creating a bunch of extra faces when I extrude stuff. So we'll make sure that's off. Oh, interesting. I uh, was thinking um, them going to a cab, and then they have to do something to boost their chances on winning against opponents. I see. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right now you're messing with the lighting um in the NDI setup. Oh, okay, cool. Do, are you doing like a a screen capture like to a plane kind of thing like this? Yeah, that was tricky to figure out how to do. I use Riku VR's tutorial, but even then, um, it gets tricky with, like, making sure the source is named correctly and the nodes and all that, all that garbage. Have the desktop screen and an in-game camera. Gotcha. Yeah, NDI is a pain because like their SDK is like, I don't know, the the documentation's not great.
I like this song. Oh, the SDK won't download for you? Yeah, I remember having to contact uh, NDI about some troubleshooting problem I was having, but it was so long ago I forgot what it was. Hmm. Yeah, that works, I guess. In a hero's suit. Oh, you're using off world. Yeah, I I st Yeah, I'd like to use off world because off world lets you do um so I so I have uh, like a transparency setting. Like I can do like this, but um in order to get the transparency, my character is um actually I can show off what's happening. Yeah, so this is what it looks like in the engine itself. And then in Streamlabs, I have it set up to like key out the green so that we get this. The problem is, is that my hair can turn green um, or rainbow colored. And then that makes it a big pain in the dick to do chroma keying. So, yeah, off world, from what I understand, lets you do alpha just natively out of Unreal Engine. Uh, but I it's uh, my my. Setup is complicated enough as it is, and I'm lazy. And I imagine if if off world can output alpha from from Unreal, then Unreal can probably just do it itself somehow. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, if you're having a problem with blurriness, you might want to check out some of the um, anti-aliasing options for Unreal Engine, because I know I was having a problem with my character where, like, I still kind of have an issue with it, where her teeth kind of get fuzzy when they're kind of close together. It just has to do with, like, how Unreal Engine does anti-aliasing. Uh... You know, their anti-aliasing works well for, like, realistic graphics where textures are very detailed and noisy, so little, little graininess things don't show up as much on there, but for, like, you know, big solid colors and crisp outlines, you, it looks shitty, so I had to mess with those a little bit. Probably missing one button. Yeah, there's always that one checkbox that isn't checked that would fix everything. Mm. I feel that. <laughs> okay, so... I wonder if there's a way to make this quads. Space, um, grid fill. Yeah, no, I didn't think that was going to work. So we're probably going to have to subdivide this. This part here.
Oh, this is this is dumb. I really like this song. I wish this is a uh, sparkle by uh, Tatsuro Yamashita. Um, man, I wish more of his music was on Spotify. His music is very hard to find on any digital services. He he does not like having his crap on the internet. I guess. Oh, thank you for the head pads. Yeah, my hair is very squishy. Let's see. Oh, wrong button. Not the friend shelf. There we go, that's the hat button. I got jiggly here. Yeah, I've had it compared to cotton candy, I've had it compared to soft serve ice cream. Yeah. Uh, did I watch a tutorial for the minigame in Avatar? Um... Yes, well... Not really. Um... I mean, I watch a lot of tutorials for individual parts of it, like, um... You know, animation, um, animation blueprints, um, a lot of the animation blueprints parts I got from, uh, Prismatica dev, um, a lot of just general getting chat interaction came from Woody devs and Riku VR, um, yeah, and I just needed a billion things here and there, um, save game is, is a big thing, if you ever need help, like, keeping track of stats and like saving people's data um like between stream to stream i had to do a lot of stuff to figure out how to do that so if you ever have questions about that i'd be happy to like share notes or whatever um yeah because that's a big headache that i'd like other people to avoid having so yeah So, like, yeah, short answer, yes, I have watched tutorials, and um, there are way too many for me to, to remember and list. Yeah, basically the way that you would do that is, um, so you would have whatever represents your player, like, would be, like, a character or a class. Um, you would have to create something called a structure, and then that structure would just, like, store whatever numbers represent, like, you know, the things you want to save about your player. And then you would have a map that would be you would make a save game object that has a map in it, and then the map could be organized by, like, usernames of people in chat as, like, the key, and then you have, under that key, like, an object that's, that would be your structure that has all this stuff. I'm just rambling. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm rambling, and without a visual aid, it probably doesn't make any sense, so, yeah. So, the short version is, you take what you want about the player, you put it into a struct, and then you put that struct into um, either an array or a map inside of a save file. So that's the very short version of the way I would do that. Again, that probably wasn't helpful at all because I was, I was just saying words. Okay, this kind of works. Like, this is a quad. It's not the best geometry in the world, but whatever, it's a quad. Yeah, just words. Sorry about that.
Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You know, the power of friendship will, well, much like anime, the power of friendship will serve you well in figuring out how to do all this weird shit. Man, this is probably some really stupid geometry here, but whatever. Who fucking cares? Okay, let's delete half of these. This is... Oh, yeah, you saw the picture of my uh, sword and guitar. Th yeah, thank you for the compliment. Yeah, that was fun to make. Oh, Mixie! Hello! Good to see ya! How's your Saturday treating you? Oh, if this song is going to make me sleepy, I'm going to skip that one. Painful in a good way. Uh, well, well then, good. I'm, I'm glad it is painful in a way that is satisfactory. I'm guessing you're you like working out or something. And <laughs> not sus, just just gym day. Even if it was something sus, I I wouldn't judge you. Okay, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a stretch break. We're gonna go over to oh noodle cow. Hello, <laughs> I was just about to go get up for a stretch break. I'm going to do that for a second. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad you're back. Check out your boys while I go take care of some human things. Oh, hi, Whisper. There we go. Yeah, it's always weird when Whisper phases through. You just kind of feel an overwhelming sense of coldness and dread. I'm, I'm not crazy about it. All right, I will be RB. Okay, I have returned. Oh, this feature is neat. You talk about the slime pets. Pet my little boy goop. Oh, I am still... There we go. I'm awake now. Hi, everybody. It's a little hard to get my hand tracking um, to trigger, but once it is triggered, the hands go up, and then they're I can move them around pretty quickly, but like if I put them back down then it's hard to get it to come back up. There we go. So, yes. 
Oh, Tig, hello. A raid. There we go. Welcome readers, welcome readers to the stream. We're so glad that you all are raiding here. Welcome to the stream. It's always great to have people watching the stream that are new. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, let me let me turn the music back on. I'm gonna go ahead and give Tig a shout out. Ahoy. <laughs> How you doing, Tig? Thank you so much for trusting us with your crew. How'd your stream go? What, what were you guys up to? Oh, a katana. <laughs> You're studying the blade. Oh, somebody laid an egg back there. Yeah, for uh, anybody that's new to the channel, um, first of all, uh, Tig, make sure you take care of yourself. I, I know streaming can take a lot out of you. Uh, and uh, yeah, make sure you do your stretches. Make sure you drink your waters. All, all that self-care stuff. Oh, Critter's gonna evolve. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we have an evolution system. Uh, first off, yeah, for anybody that's new to the channel, uh, hello, I'm Fruitsy Collins. I am a VTuber. Um, I'm an artist uh, in 3D modeling and illustration and Unreal Engine development. Uh, this is a uh, real-time 3D environment that you can all interact with in chat. We've got tons of things you can do in the channel points, uh, the, cha the redeems menu. And the first time that you type into chat, you get one of these little guys. We have this little, uh, little uh, virtual pet slime system. So there's all kind of things you can do to customize, like their color and their voice, and dress them up. Uh, Kisa Satoma's little one critter just ate some evolution fruit that is going to make her evolve into a new form. They're in that big ass egg in the in the middle there. So yeah, Critter should turn into a little kitty slime in about five minutes. <laughs> Watch you get attached to this pet, that's the goal. <laughs> right now, uh, for anybody that's just hopping in, we are 3D modeling a little television set. Uh, the television set is going to be a little framing device for a mini game that we're doing um, called Slime Quest. Uh, we're going to have the slimes compete. Well, not compete against each other. They're going to be working with each other uh, to do like a little Japanese RPG kind of mini game where they're fighting bosses and stuff and winning little prizes through that. <laughs> Ooh, who's your biological child? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, where do slimes come from? So yeah, when the uh that's how fruity fruits get yeah, I get you I get you in invested in the in the in all the with all the beeps and the boops and the bells and whistles that get you emotionally attached to your little one. And that's when I start getting money from you. That's not how that works at all. <laughs> yeah, the two slimes <laughs> when two slimes uh love each other when two slimes movement al uh AI algorithms uh love each other very much. And they overlap uh, with a 0.9998% chance, um, you know, when all that happens. Uh, the stork comes by. Uh, the stork, which is called Unreal Engine, uh, flies uh, with a baby, uh, also known as a spawn actor. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm done with this bit. This bit's stupid. I'm done with it. Okay, oh, you need uh, you need to lurk? Not a problem at all. Thank you so much for bringing your crew in here, Tig. I really appreciate it. I think we'll have another slime race once uh once Kisa Satoma's little one evolves, which should be in the next mm, just like maybe three minutes or so. It's got a five minute timer, but that was a little bit ago. So the next thing we need to do is add little controller ports. So we're modeling it after the Dreamcast. Ah. 
so how are we going to do this? Ooh, I really like this song that's coming up. I'm not sure how I'm going to divide this up. Let's see. Let's just make the shape separately and see how we can get that working. Hawkeye, okay, hello! How's it going? Oh, we had another baby. Looks like Mowgli and I have a little kid slime named Fruitsy11111. Mowgli and I were sitting in a tree. While our slimes were. <laughs> don't, want, don't, want to, don't want to do any of that parasocial stuff. Oh! Good thing we're not going down that joke road anymore, because the critter has evolved into a little kitty slime. Congratulations, Kisa Satoma's. Congratulations, Kisa Satoma and your little one, Critter, for evolving. Let's shove the slimes around a little bit to see if we can get a little unobstructed view of their fabulous new form. There you go. A <laughs> little crayon wielding kitty slime. You kids and your crazy music. Look at all these little guys bouncing around. Oh, little well, dark spell. Oh! Oh, Noodle Cat's drawing something. Looks like they drew a little padlock. <laughs> Thank you for the Chrono Trigger song. We love those around here. I think we'll do another slime race after I model the little controller port here. Just kind of figure out how to make this shape. Oh, it's Devin, hello! How's, how's it going? Oh my god, my hand tracking is not quite perfect. I. Busy night today, but you're here from the Raid, and we really appreciate it. <laughs> Hello to you, Oz Devin. What what you, what you all busy with? You, you doing some uh some some work? Huh? We're hanging out on streams. Oh, game night, cool. Ooh, we've got a cool song on the radio. This is a uh, cool out by uh, Leroy Hudson. Really like this song. This is good background music for like a public radio news break or something. Um. Oh, somebody cast a little light spell back there. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm glad you like the music, Noodle Cat. I need to add some new stuff to it. Yeah, this is my chill stream tunes playlist. I've got like a lot of songs that I like that would not be appropriate for the chill stream tunes. They're not, well, some of them are T for Teen, but a lot of them are just like too loud and funky for like background music. Hi. That was very cool. Huh? 
Okay, so I think the controller port will be kind of shaped like that. Oh, forgot a couple edges. Oh, Hawkeye cast a little fire spell. Look out now. You crazy kids and your magic spells. Okay, I think that's a good shape for the controller port. So we're going to have to figure out... Hey, <laughs> we love seeing Padlock even when he's a weird little crayon drawing. Let's see, let me turn on wireframe. Oh, gonna be lurking? Not a problem at all. Hope your work goes well. Hope you have a really good night, OS Devin. Let's see, apply all transforms. Okay, we're gonna save that, and I think we're gonna take a little break and have a slime race. So I'll go ahead and pause the funk for a minute. Let's go to Slime Race Island. So for any of y'all that are new from the couple of raids that we've gotten, this is a little mini game that we have that you can join by typing exclamation point play. This is how slimes learn how to do the uh, things that they've been doing, like playing songs and casting spells and stuff. You win them by getting third to first place in this little racing mini game. Where you compete against other people's little ones, and it's just a fun time little friendly competition. We've got Overpowered Yeti's little one in the field. We've got Hawkeye. We've got Uwu. And if you don't have a slime yet, typing exclamation point play will create one for you. And that'll be your forever boy. I'll do a 10 count to give other people a chance to join, but not hold things up too much. So we're going to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, let us starto. Alright, we got three little ones on the field. That means everybody's going to win something. <laughs> Thank you for the little Mega song. Very, very intense fight song very appropriate for this this stiff competition we have here this this very gooey competition excuse me all right we are making our way over the summit of bunny hill hawkeye has taken an early lead A, the hawkeye the very pleasing reddish purplish slime with the little old bow Hawkeye maintaining their lead as we get to the bottom of Bunny Hill and move on to the second section of Slime Race Island, Waterfall Bridge, which has been Nickelodeon the fuck out for Spooky Month. <laughs> for anybody that's new here, this um, island normally is much more green and, and lush looking. <laughs> the trees are not like dead sticks. We just kind of spookified it for, for Spooky Month. We'll be we'll be changing it back to springtime after the month is over. All right, overpowered Yeti has pulled ahead. 
can't overpower the Yeti, claim victory, and wrench it from the jaws of defeat. Overpowered Yeti was having some trouble with the, with Geyser Valley earlier. We'll see how they fare this time. Oh, it looks like they might have cleared their Geyser. Very nice. Clear path to victory, but Hawkeye is not too far behind. They're going to have their own little Geyser to contend with here. Oh, they managed to get past it. Uwu getting stun locked a little bit. There we go. Okay, it looks like it might be Overpowered Yeti's race. Yes! From the jaws of defeat, Overpowered Yeti has won their first slime race. Hawkeye very close behind. Solid performance out of the both of you. Alright, Ulu is making their way. Worst of first, that's right. <laughs> Anything can happen. This island is inhabited by a deity named RN Jesus. <laughs> He's a very cruel deity. He can just ride down on his, his six-legged horse and and just cause good or bad things to happen to people. Alright, Uwu finishing up. Congratulations to all three of you. All three of you will be winning prizes. The overpowered deity is going to get an extra special one. So let's head over to Results Island and check those out. GG to everyone indeed. All right, congratulations to Overpowered Yeti for winning their first race. They're going to get a gold feather. And Uwu is going to win a prize. Oh, a Chrono Trigger song. We've, ne we've never had one of those before. <laughs> and a little Kirby song for Hawkeye. And Overpowered Yeti will get a very special prize. Oh, they learned a little water spell. Very appropriate for this little blue boy. Looks like he got on the uh, the leaderboard too. I think two two out uh, two minutes and two seconds is very close to our our uh, our world record of uh, one fifty nine. Uh, still holds strong by Mercedes Web. Let's start the funk back up. Oh, we're having a lot of eggs tonight. Look at all those little ones. How do you water spell? Uh, you can go into the slime special action redeem and type cast. And that will cast any spell that your slime knows. Um, it was just a coincidence that mine also knows a water spell, but it picks one randomly. Oh, you gotta do the, uh, uh, the channel points. Um, it's called slime special action. It's one little fruit there. <coughs> and then you, it, it'll ask for text and you type cast into that. Yeah, most of the things that you do with slimes are through the channel points menu. There you go. You got it. <laughs> Thank you for the little Zelda music. Let's see, relative offset. Not four of these. Oh, thank you, Yeti. Where does your uh, username come from, by the way? I'm always curious, uh, like, to hear the origin stories of people's usernames. Mine's based on Bootsy Collins and then also just fruit, because it's fruit is fun. Okay, that looks like a good distance in between these. Yeah. 
Now, I don't know how to make this exactly... No, that's not quite right. I don't know how to make this exactly symmetrical. Let me show you here. Let's do constant offset. That'll make it easier to... Uh, that'll make it easier to figure out where the middle is. Point five. Point one. <laughs> Noodle Cat does things. Says, you will never guess the meaning behind my username. Hmm. Where's my hand? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Come on, hand. Hmm. There. Hmm. Oh, my God. Hmm. There we go. Close enough. Oh, I can get... Oh, my God. Motion tracking, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's, it's flawless. Oh... A new soul arrives. We got a new little soul. I have no idea where that kid is. Okay, there's me and Mowgli's little one, the little green guy on the left there. A new soul arrives. Oh, Beniculin and I had a little one named Benic Collins. Very nice. Goop is getting around tonight. I mean, he does have that dashing cape. Oh, there's the one we were looking for. Mercedes Ziggly. Little teal one there. Oh, Hawkeye eating that mecha fruit. On their way to becoming a steel slime. Uh, Noodle Cat says, question, where do the slime voices come from? Um, oh my god, I can't point to myself, but yes, here, they come from here. <laughs> it does not seem, my, my tracker is like down there, so it doesn't know what's happening when I turn my hand toward me, but yeah. Oh my god, we're having too many kids. <laughs> But yeah, it's I. It's just me making the noises, and then I pitch shifted the fuck out of them, and did some EQ, and then they're going through the Unreal Engine's like meta sound thing, uh, which puts some random pitch shifting in there. Um, yeah, just a, a bunch of effects on top of my big dumb voice. Impeccable performance. Thank you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Mandy's uh, also me, which is probably easier to notice. Her, her grumblings are, are my grumblings. Yeah, there are a lot of babies. I need to take that birth rate down again. We're gonna get this birth rate right. No rules, just right. Birth rate. Okay. I made a note of that. It's fast at the speed of flubber. My god. Oh, my phone is... The, the battery on my phone is about to be kaput. Let me plug that in. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I got so many wires, you guys. I hate it. <laughs> so many fucking cables everywhere. Okay. Oh my god, I hate wires. Where is this future that they promised us where, like, you could bump two iPhones together and it would just, like... Everything could just connect to each other. Your setup is wire hell, wire hell as well. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm, that's not quite right. One point, about six. Yeah, that works. Okay. So, 1.6 meters. Oh! Oh, brown hair. Nice. It's so chocolatey. Yeah, I was saying my hair looked like soft serve before. Now it's, it's very much chocolate ice cream. Oh, nice little fire spell, Hawkeye. Watch out, watch out there's children. <laughs> there's children present. Okay, so we move these 0.16 meters to the right, so that means... Don't hit the kid! No violence here. Okay, we're gonna need to... We're gonna need to get our calculator out here, so... So we want to move... That's 1.6. So we want to move 1.6 plus half of that. So half of 1.6 is that, plus 1.6. So we want to move it uh, point or 2.4 meters to the left. Minus 0.24. Yeah, there we go. That should be in the middle. Oh, Offworld has a subscription? I thought it was free. Oh. Well, I guess I'm not using Offworld then. Okay, there we go. Here's... There we go. Free for non-commercial use. Yeah, I guess technically this is commercial use because, yeah, we do, I, we do get subscriptions. Ahoy. Okay, we're going to apply that object, um, I'll transforms. I'm gonna get up for a little bit of a stretch break. And I may or may not also get a glass of eggnog. A little self-care plus a little self-sabotage. BRB. Oh, Marengo, hello! I'm gonna go take a stretch break and come back. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Oh, and Mixie, I don't think your slime has learned how to how to draw yet. So yeah, that's just gonna come up blank.
All right, I am returned. Bye bye. I have brought back with me some Southern Comfort, which sounds like something tea for team, but it's just the name of this eggnog. It's very good. Oh, it's a very nice, like, celadon color. I like it. Hi, everybody. Yeah, and welcome to the stream, Marango. I'm gonna go ahead and shout you out, because Marango's been very helpful um, with answering questions and, like, troubleshooting stuff that I've had difficulty with uh, trying to, uh, you know, build stuff for the stream. How's it going, Whisper? Can I, can I put my hand through Whisper? Is he close enough? <laughs> can, I, can we reach our boy? Ah, he's, like, just behind me. Anyway. Let's see. Let me shout out Marengo. There you go. Yeah, you can see Marengo by checking out that little shout out link there. Yeah, he does. He's an Unreal Engine developer in his own right um, and knows how to do a lot of really cool stuff. Um, he streams uh, development on on like stuff he's doing for games and like Fortnite mods and stuff. Yeah, and I play Fortnite with him. And uh, Dead Sun Prime on Thursdays on uh, Dead Sun's channel, so you should check that out, too. If you want to <laughs> get any more of me than you already are, which I don't know why the hell you would want that. Okay, let's see here. How are we going to make faces for these? Okay, so let's delete these faces. And then we're going to join these two. Let's see here. So we want this to go inwards a little. I'm going to delete these. Delete these. And I think we're going to want to reverse the normals on these. I think. Um, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da, vertex. Where are the no where do I change my normals? Isn't it under vertex? Maybe it's under face. Where the heck oh yeah, it's under mesh, that's right. Let's see if that normal direction is correction. No, it's not. That's weird. Should okay. Okay, yeah. And okay, now we need to figure out how to connect these faces up so that the geometry is, is decent. Boy. 
A little Weldon Irvine on the radio. Let's see, I think this is the X direction, so we want to... Make that the same X. There we go. So we probably want there to be an edge loop up here-ish. I'd like to keep these as quads if I could. Got a face there, and maybe we could connect that up. Why is this line so thick? Yeah, I don't have proportional editing on. Okay. Oh, I connected up the wrong edge. Thanks for the follow. Oh, thank you for following. Um, let's see. Oh. Let's see. Osai. Osai Ice? Osai Rice? Well, whatever your name is, welcome. I don't know why my uh, my follower alert thing's not working. We got Bonzi, buddy, but we usually have like a big light show that goes on when people follow, so apologies for that. I will write that down in my notes for something to fix. Because we really do appreciate you being here. Okay, I wrote that down. Oh, we got an ad break. I'm going to take the opportunity to drink some uh, eggnog. I've turned my microphone back on. My microphone was off so that you wouldn't have to hear me drink my eggnog, and I forgot to turn it back on. Mic check, yeah, yeah. I got it. Th thank you, Bixie, I got it. <coughs> now, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to connect all these faces up so that... Um... Usually in 3D modeling, um, a lot of times you want to keep stuff um, as something we call a quad, which is basically like a polygon that has four sides, so like one, two, three, four, um, for a couple of reasons. Um, yeah, for a couple of reasons I, I, I don't really want to go into. It, it just... it 3D modeling... It, do uh, manipulating an object when it has um a bunch of oh my god how do i how do i oh my god i got streamer brain hang on yeah ba basically if you keep all the polygons on a model is four-sided it makes certain things like um adding a smoothness modifier or um you know 
creating seams for where things can bend in an animation is just a oh. it's just a lot easier to handle when you're all your polygons or most of them are four sided. So we're, I'm always just trying to find ways to accomplish that, even if it ends up looking kind of weird sometimes. Yeah, actually, let's get rid of the ones that we've already done. Well, no, let's not do that. Very nice. Uh, let me know how to uh, how I should pronounce your name, too. I am very bad at guessing how to say people's usernames. If any of y'all have some fun stories about where you got your usernames from, I'll let me know. I always like hearing origin stories of usernames. An old pen name? Uh, Marengo, yeah, I think I... I think there was a multiplayer game. I think it might have been Call of Duty that you were playing with people, and um, somehow your name ended up being the Brazilian word for strawberry, but you misspelled it. Um, yeah, there there was something about like a stealth mission or something. I, I it was a while since you told me about it. I apologize for forgetting the details. Oh, you used to play Fliff? I used to play Fliff. Okay, so it was an MMO. Um, I used to infiltrate the guild and get power level. I see. Okay. Yeah, it was... Yeah, I played a lot of Fliff. I played a lot of Ragnarok online because I was a dumb little anime kid. Oh, very nice color. Power level to 75 in a week. Wow. I remember very little about that game except you could fly on a magic broom. <laughs> Fly for fun PvP, very brutal. Okay, let's see if we can make quads out of this. I like this song, it's very pretty. Oh, 
Very dapper little top hat. <laughs> you got a couple of kid slimes next to you. I think some of the slimes might be stuck. Let me, I got a button that can shove them around a little bit and restart their movement. Had to buy a fairy pet and grind a level of XP to remove the criminal curse status. Oh my god, this... This is such a pretty song. Oh, you got a little pot lid on your back? Oh, this is a five-sided polygon. No! Oh, dang it. Um, hmm. I might just have to keep Hi. adding edge loops. Hi. Oh, wait. Maybe, well, yeah, no, I need a... Actually, no, I don't really need an edge loop there. <laughs> You're really equipping your boy up. Yeah, we could make this... <laughs> Petting your little one. Okay, so we could make this a quad like that. I think. Hmm. That one ended up being a triangle, hmm. Let's see what we can do with the top here. Might need to add another edge loop. <laughs> Thank you for watering, Mandy. If I add an edge loop here... Oh no, I've been low polyed. Ah oh, dang it, where'd all my lumens and my nanites go? Where's my virtual textures? Where's my, uh... Hmm, what are other things Unreal Engine can do? Where's my level streaming? Where's my, uh... Where's my structs? Where's my enumerators? Crash Team Racing, very good choice. I forgot that I put that in the flavor text description. Okay, so we can make a quad here. Mr. I'll make a quad out of you. There we go. That's not pretty, but those are all quads. Oh, we got two Chrono Trigger songs in a row. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's push these faces in a little more.
There we go. Little controller ports. Okay, so there's the basic model. Turn the wireframe off. There we go. We got our little TV. And then we're gonna probably we're gonna have some buttons and stuff, but we'll do that with a normal map. We'll make a high res version of this, and then Sansa, hello. 3D's nuts. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Hi. You're seeing me in, in low poly mode, Sansa. How's it going? You're sad. You can't. F I don't have any bonks. I do have head pets. That's sort of like a bonk. A very, like, gentle bonk. And yeah, I don't have I don't have a fart redeem, Sanzo. I know. A head pet is like a bot. This is the <laughs> this is this is a, this is a Sanzo. This is a nice place where good things happen. We no nobody gets hit with hammers and, f and farted on here. <laughs> I run a clean ship. Space buffoon, hello. Oh, space buffoon, I'm glad you're here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a shout out because I don't get to do that very often. Yeah, Space Buffoon's another VTuber um, who's a very, very cute avatar and does these, um, um, uh, let's does these little lore streams where they tell little stories about their character. I'm gonna show a little bit of one. Space Buffoon. Yeah, see, like, they've got the- oh, well, you can't see them, but they've got pink hair, and- and everything's very cute. But yeah, this is a little lore stream that they did about infiltrating, uh, like a- a, uh, a power plant on a- on a snow planet, and he had- and he- and they had to get the assistance of the local wildlife called the Googlocks, and it was all very cute. Or the Googlogs, excuse me, and threw little clown bombs at it. And yeah, I really enjoy Space Buffoon's streams, so you should check you should check them out. <laughs> Sorry, Space Buffoon, for uh, your um, shout out being in black and white mode, so they couldn't see how colorful your streams are. Oh, Marenko, you enjoy my Twitter beef? You talking about what's like Space Buffoon and, and I? <laughs> Our, our little fake Twitter beef. Space Buffoon drew a very good picture of uh, of me as, as an evil vampire commanding hench slimes. Uh, once color returns to the world in about... Oh! <laughs> I'm no longer low poly. Now I can wave uh, to Sanzo and uh, Space Buffoon. Hold on, hand tracking. I, ow! <laughs> I hit my microphone, I'm sorry for the noise that you probably heard. Oh, I have so many things in front of my face, my hand tracker doesn't see my left hand sometimes. Hold on. There it is, okay. Hi everybody. Hands, oh my god. I need to come up with a better camera setup. You don't have bonks now. Sansa is not that kind of stream. I mean, trust me, being turned into low poly mode is much more painful than being bonked with a hammer. It is is reconfiguring my my polygons and m fusing faces and replacing textures, and it's it's no good. It's it's, it's very it's very existential. Marengo's hand is a hammer. So yeah, I'm not low poly anymore, I'm just pumpkin potion now. <laughs> Look at me, I'm pumpkin potion. Ha cha 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 cha. Just like just like pumpkin potion. Huh? 
Yeah, Space Buffo and I aren't actually fighting, so don't don't worry, any everybody. Okay, there we go. I mean, oh no, we are. Grr, we're no oh, space buffoon. I'll get you. Mm. Angry Jigglypuff face. Ah, I'm so mad. <laughs> I don't get to use the the the, the cheek puff uh, blend shape very much, or not blend shape, fucking morph target. But it's fun. I got a tongue one too. Let's go. Yeah. That one's kind of busted. Okay, so we've modeled our TV, at least the low poly version of it. I think we're gonna make a. Well, I guess we need to un or UV map it, and then do a high poly version where we can put in details like buttons and uh, um, speaker holes and all that shit. Um, but yeah. Once color comes back to the world, we'll have a little slime race. I'm gonna give my my boy Goop a little pat on the head. There you go, Goop. Oh, did you draw a mushroom? Very nice. Good boy. You'll tell Dead Son. What's Dead Son gonna take from me that he already that he already has nah. hasn't? I don't know. God. Yeah, well, Dead Son comes in here trying to to take something away from me again. I'll give him one of these. Ha! Wind spell. A sick goop on him. Uh, what is a slime race? Oh, well, funny you mentioned that. We're about to have one. Slime races are a little mini game that we got. Now that we have color, um, we'll go ahead and start one of those, and you can see what they are. Get ready for a slime race. So, slime races are a little mini game that we have here on the stream that let your slimes win little prizes, like playing those songs and drawing things and casting spells. This is how you get those. So you can type exclamation point play to join the lobby. We've got eight spots available. And the first, uh, the first, second, and third place slimes that win the race will get little prizes. And yeah, that, after that you can use the um, slime special actions redeem to make them do one of the things they know how to do. So yeah, if you'd like to win it, if you'd like to compete for a chance to have your little one learn how to do things, you can go ahead and type exclamation point play, and they'll be they'll be whisked away to this little island in the sky. Okay, we got Mixie on the field. We've got Space Buffoon's little one. The the text is very small. We've got Hawkeye on the field. Look at all these cute little guys here. Alright, we got three boys on the field, which means they'll all get prizes. But, oh, Sansa's gonna come on in. There you go, there's Sansa's little one. Oh, now there's some competition. And <laughs> now one of you is not gonna be able to get a prize. Okay, I'll give a, a, a 10 second countdown. Oh, <laughs> very good use of a very good recall of a, a SpongeBob meme, uh, Mixie. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do a 10 count to give people a chance to join if they would like to. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay, let us start. Polls are closed. So, we are off to the races. For anybody new, the slimes are going to race against each other, and they have a 10% chance every time of falling asleep. They get a little Z bubble above their head, and you can type the word cheer into chat, 
and that will wake them up a little bit faster if they fall asleep. And any anything with the word cheer in it will work, so if you get like a repeat um, like message uh, error, you can get around it by typing cheers or cheering or what have you. All right, looks like Space Buffoon's little one is getting a little early lead, but it's still very much anyone's race as we get to the second section of Slime Race Island, the treacherous waterfall bridge. Our little ones are going to have to hop their way across a low-poly suspension bridge over this Nickelodeon-ass green river that we've got for Spooky Month. We're in kind of the Halloween version of Slime Race Island for, for the month of October. It's normally much like more lush and um, and springtime looking. Alright, things are really stayed even. It is hard to... It is a little hard to do commentary because of how close all the slimes are. It looks like Hawkeye might have a very narrow lead. Oh, but then they fell, fall asleep. R and Jesus is really having a fun time with this race. All right, we are in Geyser Valley, which is the most treacherous part of Slime Race Island. If you get hit by one of these little geothermal vents, your little one can get pushed back a couple of centimeters to kind of mix things up at the end of the race. Oh, Mixie having a little bit of trouble with their geyser. Hawkeye's maintaining their lead, but Space Buffoon is not too far behind. Alright, looks like Hawkeye has won. Oh, Mixie getting stunlocked a little bit. You hate to see it. <laughs> I believe in you, Mixie. Oh, RNGs is really giving you a rough time. We've never had anybody get completely stunlocked before, so I, b I believe you can get past this. Let's see. Oh, just barely got nicked by it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, falling asleep. I know you can do it, Mixie. I think this is the most anyone's ever been stunlocked. I'm definitely going to nerf the, the geysers a little bit. Oh no. Oh, Mixie, I'm so sorry. I think this is the worst that it's 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 been for anybody. <laughs> oh. I didn't want your first experience with this with slime races to, to be this rough. Okay, I think you might have gotten past it. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay, you finally got past it. Good, good, good. I was worried you were actually going to get stunlocked. I don't know if the song is set to loop. I don't think it is. <laughs> That's the first time we've had a song run out. <laughs> oh, Mixie, I'm so sorry. It's very funny, but also I apologize. Yeah, I'm definitely going to nerf those geysers after the stream. <laughs> As Mixie silently makes their way to the finish line. <laughs> Thank you for being a good sport. <laughs> Let's go to the results island and see what <laughs> what the three of you won. Oh, Mixie, I really apologize. That was some really bad luck you had there. But congratulations, Hawkeye. You're going to get a little gold feather in your cap. <laughs> Third place winner gets a little Zelda song. Space Buffoon wins a little Chrono Trigger song. <laughs> Hawkeye will get an extra special prize. Learn how to draw a little chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mixie. I, I, hope, you, I hope you're not upset. I, I, it was funny, but it... Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's funny. I, I, I felt bad with this being your first race. But don't worry, we'll have, we'll have another one later, and, and RNG Jesus might be a little, little nicer to you. 
<laughs> oh, wow, thank you for the pink hair. I'm strawberry flavored. Yeah, I think geysers are the closest things we have to bonks here, Sanzo. That was... They're the most violent thing we have. Yeah, after the stream, I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I'm really going to do it this time. I'm going to go into the code and increase the... Yeah, uh, oh, Mixie deserves all the head pats. <laughs> Mixie is a very good sport. Yeah, I'm going to increase the interval between geyser uh, blast to, like... You maybe like two more seconds to make sure that doesn't happen quite so often. <laughs> A new soul arrives. <laughs> oh, I feel a little embarrassed about that happening. Oh, I got a tiny hat. Look at that. I got a little goth hat on top of my cotton candy head. But I can really make that thing move. Another kid slime. Yeah, we did get another kid slime. There are a lot of slimes over there, so it might be hard to figure out who it was. Kisa Satoma and Colonel Cade had... Colonel... Colonel Atoma. Let's see if we... Yeah, I think it's that little yellow one over there. Yeah, that little pea green one that just bounced past Goop. Yeah, there we go, we found them. Yeah, if you ever want to see your slime, um, doing any kind of redeem, like petting your little one. Oops. <laughs> Hawkeye drawing a little chicken. Yeah, any of the redeems will hide the other slimes. So you'll get a little isolated shot of your guy there. Just to kind of deal with clutter if we have a ton of people in chat. I might want to implement a system where if somebody hasn't been active in chat for like an hour or so, maybe their slime will kind of like duck out. Um, uh, yeah, just so the baby jail doesn't get quite so crowded uh, for people that aren't here anymore. I'm, I'll, I'll write that down. Uh, cycle signs of a baby jail typing uh when they when owner hasn't chatted in a long time i'll just i'll i'll type that there we go leave that note to myself okay so here's the low poly version of our tv we need to uv unwrap it which is the most fun part of 3d modeling But this should be a relatively easy thing to UV map. It's a pretty simple shape. Let's see, we're going to have to apply our mirror modifier because this isn't a... Uh... How low is the probability of the kid slime spawn? Um, so, oh my god, my hand tracking is not the best. Let me get closer to it. There we go. I can be a little Italian while I'm talking. Uh, so... I think I set it up badly because the way that it works is that whenever the slimes overlap with each other, I query them to see first if they've mated with that slime before, and if they have, just disregard it, don't do the check. And then it checks to see... It does a dice roll, basically, and I have it set to be 0.9998% chance that they don't have a slime and then it's like a 0.00001% chance that they will. I think the problem is is that it's probably ch rolling that dice way too often. Like it's probably doing it every frame or something. I I don't know. Um cuz I shouldn't have to make the number that close to to 1 to make it, it you know to make adjustments. So I'm going to probably revisit that and revise how it works because um, that was one of the first features I added to the slimes, and I was even more new to Unreal Engine um, um, than, than I am now, so I can probably come up with a better solution, but, you know, 
it's just kind of a pain to go back and fix crappy code. So, yeah. I should be able to just say, like, 99% or 98%. I shouldn't have to go, like, you know, 99.999999, whatever. So it's probably just checking, like, every frame or something, and that's happening way too often. I don't know. Okay, so we're UV mapping this. We need to create some seams. And what UV mapping is, so what UV mapping is, is that it's taking a 3D object, kind of like a globe, and then it, it is laying it out on like a two-dimensional um, like sheet so that you can basically paint a texture onto it. So the um, the texture for an object is just like a, a image, like a JPEG or what, or a, a TIFF or a PNG, and then it gets wrapped around the three D object, and UV mapping basically just tells it like, you know, how where do we put this part of the picture on like what part of the three D model? We're basically just like, you know. And if you've ever had a map um, of the world where, like, Iceland is, or Greenland is, like, as big as China, um, it's not actually as big as China. The reason it looks that way is just because there's a lot of distortion where you cut the globe apart. So um, we're trying to kind of UV map things in a way where we avoid problems like that. I don't know if that, that's the, that's the analogy that makes the most sense to me. Um, for people not familiar with 3D graphics, I don't know how good an explanation that actually is. Mm. But hopefully that makes sense. So what we're doing here is adding seams, which is basically we're marking some of these edges with this orange color so that when we um, unwrap it, it will kind of know how to take it apart and lay it out on the sheet. And since this is pretty much just a box, this should actually be pretty easy. We really can just put seams on the corners. Oh, we don't need to mark these. Clear seam. Uh, Hawkeye says, as the graphic designer who has placed uh, images on uh, into two D versions of three D objects in Photoshop, I think I know what you mean. Okay, cool. Yeah, hopefully it made sense. Uh, what kind of graphic design do you do? That's sort of what my day job is myself. But yeah, graphic design can be a lot of different things.
Let's see here. Let's just see what that looks like if we auto unwrap it. Let's make this image. Okay, we'll just make that black. Okay, so we've put seams on the edges, and so if we tell Blender just to automatically unwrap it, you can kind of see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> are you taking your slime to the to uh to the back of the shed to feed them some some nice strawberries that you grew on your on your in your uh your, your personal garden that's uh next to the shed you know because the shed like houses some some supplies that you use for gardening the the yummy strawberries that you feed the slimes you know it doesn't have anything that could hurt them in there anyway so we can kind of see what happened is that i divided up the this object in a way where it kind of laid out the pieces onto this 2D sheet, so hopefully that makes sense. Okay, we'll separate these. Now, all of these should be quads. We have a few tries on this one. Um, what are these faces for? Okay, that's the back. And then this is probably the front, yeah. And then this should be the bottom. Okay, cool. Uh, Hawkeye uh, says, um, I'm still a student, but I manage my own small business on the site. I do business in advertising mainly. I'm the graphic designer for the best uh, Lego convention, Brick World. I just started this. That's really cool. Damn. Working for, for Lego. I, I like Legos a lot. So that's very cool. Nice. That, that's, that's very cool. Oh, I have a couple of triangles here, so this might, hmm, that might mess up my thing that I have a little plug-in that makes things a little cleaner. Yeah, the triangles mess this up. Hmm. Woof. Okay. Yeah, I guess I don't have to really... They don't have to all be square. This isn't a low-poly model. Yeah, I, I, the auto unwrap's fine. Okay, let's see if we can pack these islands. Pack islands. We don't need to spend a year UV mapping this. That's fine. Okay. Okay, now that we have a UV unwrap for this boy, we can make a high poly version of it and sculpt a bunch of details into it. Oh, you you get to come up with the mascots. God dang. That's cool. Okay, so we'll call this TV 
Um, low poly. We need to make a collection for this boy. Collection 20, and we'll rename that to TV. Okay, make a copy of that, and this will be our high poly one. Now, I mentioned that we like to keep all the faces four-sided, and what I'm about to do now is one of the reasons we like wow. doing that. Um, yeah, you can see kind of... Wow. Let me turn on the... Uh, Let's see. Where are my wireframes? Here we go. Yeah, you can see where this geometry gets a little messy. Um, what we're doing is basically subdividing the mesh to make it um, smoother so we can add some details to it. Uh, but when you don't keep things four sided. You it it doesn't quite know how to divide things up evenly, so you get weird pinches like that. But it's okay to have some triangles in a model. So it's like it has extra faces or something. Is this extruded or something? No, that's just one side. Okay. Oh, actually, I have a better idea. We don't need to, um, we don't need to subdivide this. We can use quad remesher. Interesting. Stud.io? I'm going to check that out. Let me put it over here in case I misspell it and end up with some T for Teen website. Oh, so this is for this is a oh that's cool. This is like a Lego builder thing. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to mess around with this. Yeah, I used to um I used to have a hobby of like doing custom Lego sets, um where like people probably use programs like this to design like custom things. Like I have like a Gundam robot and a um Akira motorcycle and the doom like Kako Demon um, where people just like make their own instructions for Legos and then you go into like okay. Owl Brick or whatever it is and order the, the parts that you need to build it. Yeah, I'm going to mess around with that. Thank you for letting me know about that. Okay, I have a plugin called of quad remesher. And this might do a better job than I can of smoothing this out. Um, how many polygons do we want this to be? 40. Whoa. What the heck? Why did that happen? Okay. okay. We don't have any weird modifiers on this. Let's just not do adaptive quad count. Why is it doing that? That's weird.
Oh, symmetry. That's what it is. Okay. I yeah. There we go. We want that in the Y direction. Turn the wireframe off. Okay, now this plugin might make my computer chug quite a bit, so be prepared. Okay, let's see. Yeah, basically we're taking that kind of low poly model we just made and we're making a high poly mesh that we can like um sculpt some details into that way we can do this like sculpting stuff like the more polygons we have the higher the resolution of our nonsense will be Oh, nice little bow. Goes good with your horns. I think I'm going to need it to be higher res than that. Let's just go 100. That looks like it's the same resolution. Oh, yep, you can see the frame rate dropping a bit. It's it's thinking about it. It's doing some work. Okay. Wow. Woof. Did not handle some parts of it very well. Yeah, that ended up being worse. Oh, is this a TV? Yeah, it's going to be like a combination like TV video game console. That's why you put some like controller ports on the bottom there. Yeah, it's going to be um, we're going to have another mini game called Slime Quest, which is going to be like an RP like a Japanese RPG thing. And when we go to that mini game, we're going to like zoom over to this TV and then like the mini game will be on the TV. Yeah, so it's a little framing device for that mode. Well, I would really like this to be higher res than it's making it. Uh, let's see if we can subdivide this again. There we go. That should look a little, that should be a little better. Got some weird pinches. Well, I think I'll probably mess around with this off stream because it has been three hours. <laughs> I didn't realize how long I've been streaming for. That's that's long. I know a lot of people stream for like six hours, but three is pretty long for me. Uh, so we're going to start wrapping things up. Um, but before we do that, I would like to thank you all so much for tuning in, and then I think we'll have one more slime race to kind of cap things off with a bang.
and then we'll find somebody cool to raid. I got a lot of really cool friends that I could introduce you to, so let's go ahead and turn off the sleepy time funk music, and we'll head to Slime Race Island. Vanicula, hello! Glad to see you're still here. Slime time indeed. Alright, if you would like to participate in the last slime race of the evening, go ahead and type exclamation point play. We got we got uh, room for eight little ones on the field. Been lurking and working, I know how that goes. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shout out Benicula. Uh, let's see, shout out Benicula live. Yeah, Benicula is another VTuber that I'm very fond of. Uh, she mentioned that she's working and lurking on, or lurking and working on stuff. I often have Benicula's streams on while I am uh, doing that myself. Uh, but yeah, she's very entertaining, very intelligent, very charming. Has a really cool vampire, vampire queen avatar, and you can do all kinds of fun interactive stuff on the stream. And yeah, uh, Space Buffoon is also uh, often a guest on there as well, which is how I ended up finding out about Space Buffoon. I've got lots of really cool friends that I've been meeting doing this stuff. All right, let's see who we got on the field here. We've got... We've got Mixie. We've got... Oh, it's really hard to see the username of that red one. Uh, let's see, we've got Funicula, we've got Critter, we got Hawkeye. All their usernames will get larger when the race starts, so I'll be able to see them a little better. I think that might be Morango's little... Yeah, that must be Morango's. Because Morango has not named their slime yet. Okay. Mixie, I hope you have better luck this time. I, I felt very bad. For those of you that weren't here, Mixie's little one got stunlocked something fierce on the in, in Geyser Valley. That was... I, I really have to um, nerf the valley a little bit. I know it's going to interrupt the meta a bit, but, you know... <laughs> it's pretty rough to see. But I believe in you, Mixie. I think that, I think, I think, I, I think you're gonna win. I, I know it. I, I don't have any way of influencing it, but. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a five count to give anybody else any, any, any slackers a chance to join if they would like to. We'll do five. Four. <laughs> I don't know if that strategy is gonna work out for you, Hawkeye. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, let's start though. Oh, 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 Sai, I think you were just a little... Okay, there's your slime. I think your slime is just going to sit there, because the race has already started. It's, it's just kind of... It's just going to kind of sadly watch all the other slimes have fun in the slime race. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> You'll see yes, us study your enemy. While you were out slime racing, I was studying the blade. <laughs> Uh, we'll have a lot of slime races in the future, so hopefully I can catch you in the next stream so we can win some stuff for your little one. But thank you, that was very funny. Alright, it looks like Hawkeye and Flanicula got a little bit of an early lead. The critter is not too far behind as we get to Waterfall Bridge. This Nickelodeon is fuck river, uh, waterfall. We've, we've got a little little aggro crag with some gax spewing out of it for for the month of October. A little Halloween version of Slime Race Island. All right, we are heading over to Slime Race Island. As a lot of people know, this is a very treacherous part of Slime Race Island, Geyser Valley. We'll see who can get through this gauntlet. We'll see if Hawkeye can maintain their lead. We've had races really Gyakuten Saibon, as it were, really just turn the tables. RNG just uses these geysers to just really fuck people over. <laughs> oh, and we had a baby. <laughs> Colonel Buffoon. Oh, whoa, the Hawkeye got a new record! Holy shit! <laughs> 157! 
Very nice. Oh, Mixie, you're getting stuck again. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. You didn't even cheer. Yeah, sometimes it just be like that. Oh, Mixie. I swear I don't have any influence over the RNG. <laughs> Oh my god, Mixie, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think he got past it. There we go. Cool. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Mixie. Yeah, the thing is, is that I just have to increase the amount of time between um, geysers shooting. I think right now it's between like four to eight seconds. I'll go ahead and bump that up a little bit. Maybe like every six seconds or so. <laughs> Mixie, thank you for thank you for being a very good sport. Lovely weather we're having, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, congratulations on Hawkeye for getting our new world record. Holy, holy shit, you beat the world record by two seconds. And speedrunning, that, that, is, that is a lot. All right, let's go to the results island to see what you, you all won. <laughs> Mixie, I'm gonna go ahead and, because you're a good sport, I'm gonna manually give your slime a spell. Let me know what your favorite element is and I'll do that for you, because <laughs> I just feel terrible about that. <laughs> And then next time you tune into the stream, your your slime will have a spell you can do. No, I, I want to do that. Okay, well then dealer's choice. I'm going to give you whatever element. Oh, speaking of elements, Hawkeye launched a little little thunder spell. Very nice. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. Uh, it was a very good time. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and find somebody for us to raid, but before I do that, um, I'm going to get... Oh! Oh! Feisty fruit. Oh, spooky feisty. Very nice. I think that will end up being a devil slime. Very appropriate for, for Flanicula. But yeah, um, oh my god, an ad break. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the ad. I'm going to go ahead and find somebody for us to raid while the ad break is going. Let's see here. Which one of my cool friends is streaming? Oh, Velpepper's streaming. Okay, yeah. I think we're gonna raid Bel raid Velpepper as soon as the ad break is over, and turn the music back on. Whoa, Velpepper's doing some crazy stuff. Okay, yeah. So we are gonna raid Velpepper. Velpepper is a, another uh, 3D modeler that does some crazy ass stuff in Blender. It looks like they have like a Halloween version of their their avatar. It's usually just a cute little yellow chicken, but it's been Oni'd the fuck out. It's very cool. But yeah, before we do that, um, <laughs> no anime for a week. My God. <laughs> but yeah, let me get my hand tracking going good here. Let's see. Let's make him... Come on, hand. There we go. Lefty always has trouble. But yeah, I. Oh, fuck it. I'll just use the right hand. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this was a very fun night. Uh, thank you, Noodle Cat, for, uh, for rating us. Thank you, Tig, for, uh, for rating us. We got lots of new folks in here, uh, like, uh, uh, Mixie. Uh, Mixie, I'll go ahead and give your, uh, give your slime a spell. Um, I insist. Um, thank you so much, Benicula, for tuning in. Thank you so much, Marengo, for tuning in. Thank you, Hawkeye, for tuning in. Thank you, uh, uh, Osiris. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sorry if you already did that and I make and I missed it. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, thank you, Space Buffoon, for being here. Thank you, Kisa uh, Satoma, for being here. Uh, thank you, Mercedes Web. You were here. I remember that. Uh, that's all I can remember for now. Uh, yeah, Noodle Cat was in here. Tig was in here. Uh, lovely as always, Percy. Thank you very much. Uh, that is high praise coming from you. Hawk, I'm glad you had fun. Um, yeah, it has been three hours and I'm getting very delirious. So we're going to go ahead and raid Velpepper. 
Velpepper BT. Um, and yeah, uh, Velpepper is doing some crazy ass um, steampunk 3D modeling and blender, it looks like. Um, set up the raid. And if you have access to any of my emotes, go ahead and spam those. We like the slime bouncing one or the waving one or the goth mode one if you have access to that. Uh, so yeah, just thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Uh, you make me glad that I'm doing this weird internet puppet show. You guys always make it fun. So I'll see you all later. Go have fun with Vel Pepper and don't embarrass me. Fritzy, how are you doing, Fritzy? Thank you so much for dropping by.